Should you get a free business valuation? Hi, I'm Josh Horn with Horn Valuation. I help business owners and attorneys with business valuation and building business value. So there are a lot of providers out there in the space now. And unlike some of the other things I talk about, I do have a dog in this fight, so to speak. I am in this space. I do value companies. So full disclosure, I do this work. So should you get something for free? That's what I really want to get to. And I want you to explore this with me a little bit because I think like a lot of things in this world, we are drowning in information and thirsting for knowledge. And for many of my clients, this is a once in a lifetime occurrence. Now, I would like many of them to do this more often for preparation for their families, succession and such. It simply doesn't happen that often. So as a result, the decision to do this and to who to engage to do it can be very daunting. So I want to talk about a few things here you should probably consider before you do something for free. First, let's define free because in some cases I think what we're doing is comparing apples to watermelons, not even apples to oranges. So a couple of advisors, experts, so to speak, involved in this space are business brokers and asset managers. And so they are typically going to charge fees based on a commission structure is that that's what the broker would charge or if they are an asset manager so they're going to manage a portfolio of your assets after the transaction of probably stocks bonds mutual funds and such they'll charge a percentage of the assets under management so with that in mind take a look at these two comparisons a broker often will charge a 10% commission based on the value of your business. So let's assume the value of your business is a million dollars. They will make roughly $100,000 on that transaction. So if they say that they're giving you a free business valuation and then they get paid a $100,000 commission, clearly it wasn't free. Similar in the asset management environment, let's say that a common fee is a percentage of assets under management and I took one and a half percent which is a common cost structure for fees under management and let's say they had it under management for 15 years well that comes up to two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars I certainly don't speak for the entire valuation community, but typically you can get an awful robust report and an awful lot of add-on consulting for less than $100,000 or $225,000. So keep that in mind. Speaking of free, is it free from conflicts of interest? In the broker or the asset manager scenario, there is definitely an issue of potential conflict of interest. This is a very big deal for my profession where conflicts of interest are at a minimum supposed to be disclosed. So in the, in the case of getting a commission or a back-end fee based on the ability to get that transaction done, there is an implied if not explicit conflict of interest in that in that transaction with that person that's helping you. And so in that case, are they going to take the time to do a good job? Or are they going to basically let that fee tail wag the dog? And finally, do they have the ability to do it right? While business brokers and asset managers can definitely have their place in helping you with your succession plan, Many of them are not credentialed in business valuation. Some are, many aren't. So please ask if they have a recognized business valuation credential and they adhere to professional standards. And ask to see them. Ask if they've done similar reports before. Are they at least somewhat familiar with your industry? If they don't have a credential, they don't adhere to standards and they haven't been anywhere near your type of industry before 
be careful. I still run into situations where I have to wrestle with certain issues. Every single business I value is different. So things that are going to come up that may or may not impact the business, the growth rate, the capital structure, whether they have good marketing people, whether they have good management team, where's this industry going? Is it going up? Is it going down? If the owner comes out, is there a business? There are all kinds of things to consider. And if someone has never talked through, thought through these things before and done it before, they could leave you really in a bad position and potentially lose you tens, hundreds of thousands, even possibly millions of dollars if they've never actually been through the valuation process and gone through the training and had experience. So these are some of the things you need to consider before you go with a free valuation. I am a capitalist. I believe technology is going to allow us to do this a lot more efficiently than maybe we could in the past. However, there is that old saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So be careful with those free valuations. I'm Josh Horn with Horn Valuation. Have a great day and a happy Thanksgiving. Bye.